Hey guys, so today I want to introduce you to Ultardi Mall USA. What exactly is it you ask? Well, they sell premium agricultural and marine products from Korea to Korean Americans. So only the best local specialties representing each region in Korea are carefully selected, contracted directly with producers, and imported directly to the United States and sold throughout the Americas. They have several locations throughout the states such as California, Texas, Virginia, New York, Georgia, Washington, Canada, and New Jersey. Your packages are released within 24 hours of your order, and the shipping business days is Monday through Friday. I'm also going to show you guys how to make garlic butter abalone using this frozen abalone. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more recipe updates. Next, I want to talk about the cinnamon bread. This is handmade in Korea. It's made using red beans and cinnamon. I like it because it's very soft, not too sweet, and perfect with tea. It's also a perfect gift for your grandparents and parents. Be sure to add this to your cart next time. For this month collaboration, we are focusing on salted and fermented side dishes. All their products are premium and high quality, so you will end up paying more than, let's say, your local grocery store. Let's take this salted and seasoned Polak roe as an example. This Polak roe has been carefully selected in a low salt method of less than 4.5%, shipped straight from the region Seokjo in Gwangwon-do. These carefully selected Polak rows is aged in sake at low temperatures and aged with a special seasoning so that it's not too salty or sweet. These pickled garlic does not contain any preservatives, additives, or color pigments. They are grown in Myeongyang region and they don't contain any chemical additives. Also, they are processed with a low salt fermentation technique and is delicious without being too salty. Here is a delicious product that is a must try. This is made of whole snow crab caught in Sokjo in Gwangwon-do. The fish's taste and smell of crab intestines are removed and sesame oil is included in the package, boosting more savory and light taste. I like to top this over warm rice and mix in with finely chopped red pepper and eggs. It's similar to mixing in the crab innards with your rice because it has a nice smooth savory flavor but with a hint of some sweetness. It's not fishy at all and pairs wonderfully with some tengjang jjigae. This is another favorite of mine. So this soy sauce crab is made with the highest quality female crab called in Yongpyeon Island. So did you know that even on the same west coast, there is a big difference in price and quality of domestic female crabs? Yongpyeon Island is a clean area with a low water temperature, so the skin of blue crabs is soft and the taste is sweet. But being a specialty store and having products shipped directly from Korea, you expect to pay the higher prices because of the better quality. So for this month theme, it was all about this soy sauce crab, the abalone, and the salted fermented side dishes. I'm going to have more recipes and more posts regarding all the products that I bought from Ultari USA. So be sure to follow my other social media platforms on Instagram and TikTok. I respond to all of my DMs, so make sure to follow me on Instagram, Miss Food Addict. And also my cooking IG page, Christy L Kitchen. Next month theme at Ultari USA is Korean barbecue. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can see more reviews and products that I got from Ultari USA. Thank you so much for watching. And before you leave, make sure you click on that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. If you guys have any questions regarding any recipes, make sure you leave a comment below. Hope you guys have an awesome, blessed day. Until next time, bye!